Guernsey has very strong tidal currents and when these combined with the wind conditions it was unsafe for the pilot to board the vessel. In addition to this there is a strong wind forecast issued for the area this afternoon so these conditions are definitely set to remain and possibly deteriorate further throughout the day. Good, Good morning, morning from the ocean. <laughs> We're in the channel somewhere. Yeah. So we knew there was a good chance that uh, Guernsey could be lost. Apparently it's very windy, yeah. very wavy. It just happens. But <laughs> anyway, we are going to do some ship exploring mm -hmm. and start with breakfast. I'm ready to explore some food again. Yeah, but we know a lot of you are counting on us to tell you what we were going to do because oh, yeah. a lot of people are doing British Isles. True. So literally we're just going to walk around. There's a church right at the port. They have a really good bus system for like a pound twenty-five. You can get on and you can go to the old, like the smallest church. Yeah, do a loop um, the island. We wanted to try some ice cream because they're known for Guernsey cows, which apparently make mm. really good dairy products. Yeah. Um, things like that. So sorry we couldn't show it to you, but um, it's a very walkable town apparently, and yeah. then the bus is really convenient. Yeah, Castle Cornet I think was going to be it. the highlight <laughs> with the museums inside and all of that stuff. It yeah. was like 11 pounds to get in, mm -hmm. literally at the next pier from where we were supposed to tender. Yeah. Pretty frugal day though overall. Yeah, been. yeah, actually. But anyway, let's <laughs> go have some frugal breakfast because yes. it's included. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Back into the concerto dining room we go. There's our menu for the morning. Looks like under specials I've got a country breakfast, which is kind of looks like a full English breakfast maybe to me. Fruit cup and cottage cheese. That's a weird little swirl. They gave us some thick cream today. Um, hmm. Is that okay? Can I can I drink that? Yeah, it'll stir in. There we go. It tastes good. I think it's just like either full on. Yeah, it's like cream or heavy whipping cream. I think. Yeah. All right, that looks better. There's a little flamingo on the thingamajiggy. Well, about an hour all told for breakfast, and now we wonder. Well, this peak, there's like a little game room area over here. Kind of awkward lighting, there we go. And then that leads into Alfredo's here, which is the included sort of Italian pizza type spot. And we're overlooking the atrium in this direction. So similar to some ships we've done before, but we're checking out all the differences. Definitely different layouts. Like, let's jump down the deck. Oh yeah, there are some big steps. Ooh, International Cafe. I'm sure we'll be seeing a good uh, bit of that. <laughs> We're heading up toward the guest services area now. Well, that's exciting and new. Lovely. Sabatini's down here. Shore excursions, guest services leading up to the spa. Oh, we got the little Vines wine bar off to the side of the piazza. Oh, they've got the little paper here at the bar that shows the difference in was the plus and premium. Premium's relatively premier. new. Oh, premier, that's the word. As to what you get and I guess the uh, pricings. Oh, we've got the little gelato area which is called gelato and the celebrations store internet cafe and symphony dining room that's right so we have concerto on six symphony down here on five hmm. we have settled in here on deck seven at the wheelhouse slash crown to knock out a little bit of sea day work mode oh yeah Impromptu sea day. that's right work, work day <laughs> We've come up to the buffet, we got the washy washy sinks. Oh, look at peek all around this lunch buffet. I think we're feeling a distinct lack of vegetables in our lives, so it might be salad bar time, y'all. Veggies, veggies, Yay. veggies, veggies. I miss them. Well, let's see what we had on the main line. Mashed potatoes, cream of green pea soup. We got some veggies, couscous, there's some a little chili bean burritos, braised fennel, succotash, rice pilaf, some pasta with smoked salmon, there's fries, roasted chicken, giant breads. This looks like a, oh it's a meatball sandwich. Well, beef strip loin on the carving station, looks like grilled fish, roast potatoes, breaded fish, hey, 
Oh, uh, paella, veggie paella nonetheless. And we end with a chipino and beef short ribs. Also got prepared salads down here. Oh, the cheese selection. We have a port wine, smoked cheddar. Okay, pepper jack. There we go, I got pepper jack. I got, I think it was smoked cheddar. I got port wine, I got apricots. Hmm. They are doing speed watercolor painting down there, but I think we are going to head into all these flashing lights and see what is going on. Woohoo! Got tunes out here in the atrium. The adult arcade was pretty kind today, actually, overall. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're heading back to the cabin now. Just to knock out some more work, you know, sea day, sea day stuff. Impromptu sea day. That's right. <laughs> Good evening. evening. It is time to kick off an evening of evening. That's how that works. That's true. Our plan for tonight is probably going to be a little similar. We're thinking about going and getting some snacks mm -hmm. from the Little Snacky Lounge. Yeah. Doing late dinner, early showtime, all that kind of stuff again. Captain's reception, because it's formal night tonight. Um, yeah, that's about it. Now that's maybe true. we can show you the show. That would be exciting. I don't know. We'll listen for announcements. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's go get some snacks. Yes. It's like 4.30. Mm -hmm. we, could, we could be peckish if we try. We eat salad. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> Wee. Hello, Vista Lounge. Oh, it's pretty similar with veggies, cheese. They do have beef tartare with Melba toast. Shrimp salad. There's some beef meatballs. It's watermelon soup tonight. And a milk chocolate mousse. Well, we hung out back there, had some snacks and drinks and things. Now we're heading up to the piazza for the, I think it's a champagne waterfall, maybe. Oh, wow, they're already set up for Yes, No. They're in the uh, Princess Live for later tonight. Yeah, I think we've got a toast happening out here, champagne. It's formal night after all. This is our way of inviting you to join us To the theater for Bravo. Well, we've got seats way down here in the front, and we will listen for announcements to see if we can bring you this show or not.
out, enjoy. Hopefully I see you at the Yes No Game Show. If not, we'll see you in the piazza for the ABBA dance party. But before we go, a huge round of applause for the entire company of Bravo! We are done with the show and we are headed to get some dinner. Oh, they've kicked up the ABBA party, but food is calling our name. Oh no! Well, there was no room in the upstairs dining room, so we are going to try here on deck five. So, not much weight at all down here. So we've got the captain's welcome menu. There are our starters. Let's jump up here to pastas, mains, favorites, extra special upcharges, and desserts. Done with dinner and ready to wander. Ooh, we got a party going on out here now. Ooh, we went stocked up on some water at Bellini's Bar. <laughs> We've come back to the cabin to find our paper on the bed, and they've already adjusted the arrival time to 8 a.m. because it was supposed to have been 9, but we have an extra hour. Good, Good night. night. We're trying different locations in the cabin to see how the lighting goes. You tell us what you prefer best. This it doesn't matter. It'll be over by then. <laughs> it's a weird spotlight area. Yo, we are going to bed. Yes. We just got done with a little adult arcade excitement. It wasn't as nice tonight as it was earlier. It was real nice earlier. Yeah. No, it's okay. I've like racked up a lot of points with not mm. having to put in too much money. So I'm not mad at it, honestly. That's true. Yeah. So what do we have to say about our evening besides dinner, which we'll the save show. to last? Oh yeah, bravo. bravo! Yeah, it was actually really, really good. We have seen it before. I do mm. not recall what ship. I don't either. But they bring in like a guest soprano, as you guys saw before. Um, the cast is really good. It's their last show uh, tonight at 9.30. So that was pretty special to mm. see like their last show. And then they brought in um, one of the original cast members was sick. So the, yeah. somebody filled in who's on the new cast. And they well, were really cool. good. It was nice. They yep. adapted nicely. Very well. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit like rock opera, and it's yeah. like, you know, now presenting so and so, and they bring in a guest vocalist and Correct. stuff. But I swear we've seen Bravo before. We have. I know it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, any other random words before we jump into dinner? No. All right. Uh, and of course, again, y'all, I have not dug up a name for dinner. I'll. You had, we both had mm -hmm. a crab cake. There it is. Look at it. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it or I will? I, I got I got some words. It was, I'll give it an okay. It was a little mushy texture wise. Um, you said under seasoned. I thought I the seasoning like was it. okay. Yeah, I had to finish your worst. It didn't even taste like crab. It, it was didn't have any. It was basically fried stuff with filling in. I didn't finish it. And I'm not a picky eater. It's just, I didn't like it at all. I'm just gonna be honest stuff. with you. It um, didn't taste like, did it taste like crab? A little bit. Mine didn't. Not much. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was. It was seemed like mostly filler or some. Yeah. So I, hmm. Probably won't get it again. <laughs> Let's jump to something else. <laughs> you had um some fruit salad tapioca something. Yeah, that's always good. I love tapioca and the fruit's nice and refreshing. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I had duck. I forget the words for it. It was a uh, seared duck, and it was, it, when it came down, I thought, I was like, hmm, that looks like turkey bacon. You know how in the package. <laughs> but it was good. Nice and smoky, well prepared. All the flavors on that were good. Super smoky, actually, which I liked. Yeah. Then you had, what is that? Duck all around. That's right. The duck itself is really good, as was the braised cabbage. The potato croquette kind of honestly tasted like instant potatoes inside, mm. which I mean, I, I don't mind instant potatoes. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but it definitely had that taste. Good babe. But overall, it was good. <laughs> and then I had the lamb rogan josh, which was the Indian dish of the night. I've had it before. Lamb was pretty tender, a couple of fatty pieces, but I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah. Naan was delicious. Scoop it all up. The sauce was good. The rice was good. I had no complaints about that Indian food, okay? okay? You had a vanilla ice cream sundae with strawberry sauce. Yeah, you customize it yourself. Um, really tasty. I made it myself. What can I say? <laughs> what can you say about vanilla ice cream? 
Was it cold? It was cold. Was it mm? And sweet and delicious. <laughs> I had the chocolate hazelnut bar, which used to be one of the chocolate Germany's, I think. It is pretty good. It's real fudgy. That middle layer is almost just like eating solid cake frosting. Like Nutella? I don't know. It was just yeah. chocolate chocolate. So chocolate overload, but that is to be expected on a chocolate journey, isn't it? So it's good. I'd get that one again. Yeah. Just not tonight because I'm full. So full. And I'm going to bed. Well, we're going to watch Love Boat <laughs> on demand and go to bed. Then we go to sleep. That's it. Now we will see you tomorrow, hopefully from land. Then that land is Ireland. I'm so excited. Oh. I'm Irish and I'm wearing green. Let's go. <laughs> good night, John. Good night. Happy Sea Day, we have ordered egg muffin sandwiches, fruit, and coffees to the cabin, free of charge. Good day. Morning, afternoon. <laughs> Yo, it is a day. Um, we have stayed in the cabin, mm -hmm. knocking a little bit of work. You know, these sea days make perfect work days. you got to do it on very poor intensive itinerary like this, make time to make the videos, get the work done. <laughs> mm, yeah, editing Jay had fallen behind in the schedule. Yeah. Because uh, we've been taking him out to have fun with us in town and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it got to the point where um, there's a video due tomorrow and it was not done. So it's done! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now that it's done and rendering, um, and hopefully we'll upload overnight. We'll see. We'll see. We are going to get out of this cabin. It is about quarter to one. Mm -hmm. um, we did get our passports back. Side note. And they are us. Don't worry. Yeah, we double checked <laughs> the pictures. You have to sign off for them. Um, it was just something for... Ireland or Northern mm -hmm. Ireland. I can't remember which one, but yeah. that's why. Oh, well, but they are back Safe in hand on. now. Because all we have left is what? Scotland and France. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah, well, let's go do some stuff. There's mm -hmm. weird, random things. There's normal things. There's cool stuff. Yeah, let's go see it all. Come on. <laughs> let's head down to deck seven. Well, we grab some bottles of water and come down here to deck six to Bellini's to hang out and check out the schedule. We were thinking about going to this event, the Dr. Last Name MD, but I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem trustworthy somehow. Huh? Well, they've got a rumba dance class happening here in the piazza. Well, one venue we have not been in is Club Six, and they're doing some trivia in there today. So, hey, that's a good excuse, yeah? I think this is kind of like a take five jazz bar concept, maybe. Oh, and Dia's going to get a trivia paper. Yeah, this is Cockney Rhyming Slang Trivia. Oh. A form of slang which a word or phrase is substituted for another word or phrase that rhymes with it. We got a perfect 30 out of 30 on that Can trivia. Can you believe it now? Wow. They did put sentences that kind of made you understand what they were going for. Had yes. that not been there, we probably would have gotten like five I would have gotten zero, six. probably. No, we would have gotten some. Because some of the terms we used too. Oh, true. I would have gotten a one. Because one of them was brass tax, and I know what brass tax means. Facts. <laughs> we have come down to the concerto dining room now for tea time. Oh, the tea has arrived. They're coming around with trays of sweets and trays of savories. I have gone with a chicken, a tuna, a veggie, and a chocolate cake. Dee has gotten some stuff also. Chicken and tuna and raspberry cake. Raspberry cake. Next up we had peanut butter cookies. She called this a strawberry shortbread. Yeah, maybe so. And a scone with cream and jam. Oh, there is still a line out the door. Yeah, they were kind of in the weeds there, so we're going to go ahead and head on out. <laughs> Good evening. It is dinner time. About that time. Yeah. I'm actually are... quite hungry. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, the service at tea time was a little, um, they were overwhelmed. They were so overwhelmed. They were doing the best they could, yeah. though, but there were not enough of them. And I think they underestimated how popular that tea time was going to be. It's the first one of the entire cruise, so it makes sense. Yeah, like everyone was there. <laughs> So we're hungry. Mm. We're going to the dining room. Yep. And then who knows what. We'll see. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Symphony of dining room.
back out. We have come down to the piazza now for the Do You Wanna Dance competition. I do not want to dance, but I could watch some dancing. Oh, they're taking sign-ups. I guess they team you up with a crew member and you dance your socks off. So they pulled names of male and female guests out of a bucket and paired them up at random. Good morning from the ocean. Mm -hmm. That's a rarity on this cruise that we have. <laughs> The ocean day. We're happy for it today, yes. Yeah. There's some weird stuff on the schedule, so I think we're going to try to do the weirdest things we see. Mm -hmm. They're not all weird. No. Um, and just have a day. Yeah. So let's hang out. And have a day. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, Sensei. Oh, I see disembarkation information coming our way later. Right. Bye. <laughs> Hello cafe, a little busier than usual, but not bad at all. Here is our breakfast of champions with the iced coffees and the foods and the yum yums. Now we are heading up to the main theater for a culinary demonstration. Back up through the spa and we have to go up a deck because we're on five. Oh, I forgot about Churchill's. Anyway, that's the uh, cigar bar. Into the theater we go. Well, they got some I Love Cooking branded uh, serving and wear there. I guess after this, they are doing a galley tour as well. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our culinary demonstration. So what do you want to do? First of all, let me bless the area. Or <laughs> any damage may happen. I'm going to prepare for you a beautiful pesto sauce, which is fantastic. And something that you can prepare at home. The linguine is, is something that it goes very well. Now, the main ingredients to make the pesto is basil, the parmesan, tomato to make the pasta, the green beans, the walnuts, the pine nuts, and the garlic. And you can see the color. That's what we're looking for, the color of the pesto. My grandmother sees it. What do you do? <laughs> you see, you got all a beautiful plate. You put a little parmesan. There you go, the best. Very good. This is a, you see, very good. Uh, what I'm going to prepare for you <clears throat> is the most traditional pasta dish in Italy. A little olive oil. <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> Okay, you see them. Okay. And then garlic, I love garlic. This is not garlic, this is parmesan. Okay. And what? And what? Why you put oil in here? Put it back there. Put it back in the pasta. The sauce. It takes all morning to prepare this sauce. Thank you for coming here. We'll see you. Now we are heading hopefully to the galley tour. They said they had folks stationed at every exit and I do see a crew member up here leading us out. So I think we're going down to deck five. Some kind of event happening in the atrium out here or the piazza. The galley is calling so we'll have to skip Jenga trivia. <laughs> well, welcome back to Symphony Dining Room. <laughs> into the stainless steel wonder. <laughs> so shiny. Oh, this is, cool. is it an eggplant panda? Oh, They've got little carvings out for us. They're sort of a warrior made out of zucchinis and eggplants. Wow. Or aubergines and courgettes, if you will. Get some peeks back into all this stainless steel. Oh, Look at this, carrots and pineapples. Uh, yes. Well, that one's cute. Under the sea. Oh, I see baked Alaskas back there. Only buffet later. Oh, let's get a closer peek. Look at all that torch and meringue. Tiramisu. I like the giant strawberry. <laughs> oh, another table full of baked Alaskas, it looks like. Uh -huh. And then I think we're back out. Whirlwind Galley Tour. That's awesome. I'm 
tried to put a baked Alaska in my pocket, but it wouldn't fit. What's oh, what if they got out here? Cups, wines. Oh, this was the dessert. Yeah, there were multiple courses. I only recorded the appetizer. That was the fantastic dessert right there. <laughs> you want me to put the lobster? I get lobster. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't record his giant dough creation full of pasta and hand sanitizer. I've never and... seen that on Princess. So that was really fun. <laughs> oh, we did make it back out for a little Jenga trivia. And some running fountain water. Okay, so whichever team doesn't answer the question correctly has to pull a Jenga piece, I guess, risking loss of the game. There it is, debarkation, I knew it. Well, we were jumping back out and we had some decisions to make. Now, they were playing what they call, is it elevator roulette, yeah. I think? <laughs> it was just, I guess, basically where they push the button and you bet on which elevator's gonna come first. Yeah. We can play that right now, actually. Uh, but we're gonna jump up and check out this sushi buffet. Oh, oh gosh, anyway, sushi time. <laughs> Welcome to Horizon Court. Cookies and brownies. Well, I see lots of food. Let me see sushis. Maybe we misunderstood this whole sushi mission. We found the zone. All right, success. Yeah, so I don't really know what's what. I think I just want to grab a whole bunch of everything. I could take this whole platter, really. <laughs> Oh, we just jammed a bunch of sushi and hey, looks good to me. I like they've definitely gone with like a lot of colorful uh, rice options there. Yeah. Well, now that we are just jam packed full of rice, I think we'll do some quick wandering outside. We're heading up to the front because we're getting ready to have the Voice of the Ocean competition. We'll do a little outside basking because we haven't really been outside too much on this cruise. Oh, they've got that whole seawalk area. Oh man, you can actually see down to the water there. And I say this uh, cruise has really been more about uh, itinerary uh, versus ship, so we haven't really focused on the ship too much, but. Ugh. All right, let's wander. Well, there's a good number of people out there, so I don't really want to poke out there and lick at them too hard. Oh, there's a little grill. They have really good hamburgers. Take a little peek at their menu while we're here. They got street tacos, dogs and stuff down there. All right, to the theater we go. And now, which elevator is gonna come up here first? Place your bets, place your bets. I think it's gonna be that one. It's on 10 already. Winner, winner! Well, there's a little bar. We're curious to see. Oh, they might not even have the voting devices out yet. Yeah, I think we heard the announcement earlier that the voting devices would be deck seven starboard. But anyway, let's come snag a seat. So we are pretty early. It's not even filled up in here yet. We got about a half hour till it starts, so. Oh, they've got the voice hand logo thingamajig statues down there. The set with the rotating chairs. This is taking me back to Crown Princess when D was in Voice of the Ocean. Do y'all remember that? 2020, woo. Hopefully, I believe they let you record this show. We'll see. They did, um, when I was in it. That's true. We'll just listen for announcements, and if we can show you, we'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> They've got the voting devices you out. You. Thank yeah. you. Good job. So now we are ready for full participation. So we just went and got one, because it is one per group. Your fellow guests have been working so hard all cruise long. They've not been eating, they've not been sleeping, they've not left the ship. They have been perfecting their craft. <laughs> I can't begin to know it. Touching me. What each coach needs to do now is choose who from their team is going through to the final voting round. With 83% of the votes, the winner of the Voice of the Ocean is Sean! Thank you to our mentors, to the Regal Princess Show Band. We love you all. Enjoy your afternoon on the Regal Princess. See you later.
Well, we're one deck above the casino now. We haven't really looked up here too much. This is the shops and whatnot. We're kind of backlit by the chandelier, but there we go. Guys, more areas we never uncovered. What the heck is this deck seven that we've never walked? <laughs> this is crooners. Okay, we can be taught. Boom. Good, Good evening. evening. It is, um, I guess it's dressed to impress evening. Yes. I'm dressed to be a mess. Be dressed. <laughs> I'm dressed. I'm halfway there. Um, but we're going to head out. The um, Captain's Circle loyalty party is tonight at 630. Yeah, it's kind of late. I know. That's kind of in the middle of prime dinner time. But maybe they got some snacks. I'm hoping for some Little Smokies or some pigs in a blanket. All we had was that sushi for lunch, which was <sighs> sushi. Uh, kind of. It was okay. It was there. It was um, rice. It was a lot of rice. Yeah. We may have some regrets about that sushi, but it's all right. No, I mean, it was okay. We appreciate the effort. It we was did. very colorful. Yeah, it, was, it was cute. The, I like the sushi rice. had a lot of vinegar in it, really. But just needs some meat. Some yeah. <laughs> It's all pretty much fish. fishy. Yeah, I'll quit complaining about sushi. Anyway, yeah. Um, we're going to go to the party, and then we'll probably have some dinner after. There's a show. I don't know what we're going to do. Yep. I never commit to anything, because everything I say, we just never do. Then you don't know if we don't do That's it. right. Yeah, we have no plans. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Come with us. See you tomorrow. Bedtime. Stop that. Bye. Deck seven. They've got two parties. That's what happened. So we ended up at the 6:30 party. So yeah, we're like people are in this lounge. So we just have to wait for them to clear out, and soon it'll be our turn. Well, we will just hang out here at the wheelhouse until it's time for us to party. Let's look at this cute little wheelhouse menu while we're here. I like this thing. It's so colorful. I love pictures. Ooh, they got a lot of beers and stuff on the back. Look at all those countries. Ciders, hard seltzers, wines, non-alcoholic. We're having too much fun right now listening to some piano tunes. The tunes have kicked up. I've got my dance on here for a while, so we may just have cocktail hour right out here in the wheelhouse. I think she likes my dancing. Symphony. Oh, it got dark in here. And this time, apparently, it's the chef's parade. They've asked us to wave our napkins, which I'm refrained from doing that. And whoop, whoop, and hoop, hoop. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at all these baked Alaskas with the uh, artificial candles in them. Was there baked Alaska on the menu and I missed it? Oh, the candle's not hot, hot, hot. It's all artificial. There you go. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much and salute. Thank you very much. Well, we're done with dinner and I hear YMCA coming from the piazza. This is the Love Boat Piazza Party. We've come one deck up now. gonna celebrate or not uh. good night y'all you, know, you know what I mean we should just never make plans <laughs> ever ever no we didn't end up going to the party as no. you may have gathered um, the line was incredibly long which good for the loyalty for princess oh my gosh yes. we had our own little party it was fine yeah we had you know <laughs> if you got the package you can make your own party anyway yeah uh, and then we did I guess do we go ahead and dig into dinner yeah. I guess let's just that do that. Thing. Let's just dig into dinner and call it a night. Okay. May as well. 
So you had a pumpkin, 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 quinoa, mm. pomegranate, pumpkin seed, cheese, squash, salad. <laughs> Those that many words will not even fit on the menu. All in all, it was really good. Uh, interesting combination of flavors together, but it all blended and worked really nicely. It is a cold salad, though, mm. so if you're expecting that to be warm, it's not. I'm going to try to hold the creepy phone like as far away from my face as I can. I had some escargot because, you know, with the French inspiration, mm -hmm. they were actually really good. They were tender. Um, I was surprised it did not come with, like, a piece of bread. But, you know, there was a giant basket of bread <laughs> on the table, and so I used that for the oily, cheesy goodness. But, yeah, approve of the escargot overall. Yeah. You had some deviled eggs. Seafood deviled eggs, yeah? Yeah, I was expecting the presentation to be slightly different, like seafood piped on top of the egg, but it was literally deviled eggs with some like smoked salmon, almost like a pate texture. Mm. Didn't love the texture, but the taste was very good. It's like seafood adjacent. Yeah, it was it was different, but it was good. I had a wedge salad. You can, and I, <laughs> it just looks like dressing. Y'all, I do not know. Now I said, mmm, I love blue cheese. Boy, that came out with some dressing <laughs> on it. <laughs> gobs and gobs of dressing. It was good overall, except for holy moly, the amount of dressing. Mm -hmm. Tuna is up next on the agenda. This was a perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned, lovely tuna steak with like a fried onion on top, spinach, and it was my favorite meal, like that entree of Ooh, the cruise. It was so good. We have a winner, winner yeah. tuna dinner. <laughs> I had the land and sea, which of course is the tenderloin. It wasn't a filet mignon that I could tell, but a tenderloin with a lobster tail. They come over and they remove the lobster from the shell for you, table side. <laughs> uh, it was really good. The, the steak was cooked well. The lobster was tender. Uh, it was actually probably one of the better lobsters I've ever had. Wow. Really, texture-wise. I don't know. If you want a second one, it's $10. Oh, yes. Okay. I think, I think that was right. Yeah. I put it on the menu. Yeah, ten dollars or nine ninety five or something if you would like a second land and see. <laughs> I did not, but no. it was great actually. You had the Princess Love Boat Dream Raspberry Edition. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever had the original one, so I wanted to try this. For me personally, it is too sweet. It has a lot of elements to it. I see why it's a classic. It's beautiful, and I'm sure if you mm. have a sweet tooth, this is good. But it, it was a little too sugary for me. Okay. I like it in general, but man. yeah. Uh, and I had creme brulee, vanilla bean creme brulee, actually. It was pretty good. I mean, I'm not really a creme brulee guy, but I feel like I was assembling like this classic cruise meal. You know, I got the escargot, the wedge salad, surf and turf, and a creme brulee. <laughs> I was trying to be as stereotypical cruiser as I could. It's an elegant night. So yeah. it was kind of just for the gimmick, but I mean, it was a solid creme brulee. <laughs> Meh, I'll give it that. Yeah. That is it. Yep. Y'all, it is bad time. So we will see you when it's wake wake time. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good, Good morning. morning and welcome back to Southampton. South yeah. Cheerio. <laughs> and all that. <laughs> Speaking of Cheerios, I need some breakfast. Um, we're going to grab some food, head off, uh, and head back to Heathrow. We have booked a transfer through the ship, which will get us yeah. back to Heathrow. I think that was the way to go for this one because it is pretty far mm. to get to Heathrow from Southampton. I guess you could fly from Southampton, but I don't know. Um, yeah, they have an airport. But yeah, definitely check out mm. transportation options because um, don't wait till the last minute on that. No, or try an Uber. That would be insanely expensive. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we booked this a while ago. Yeah. So we turned our bags in last night. We'll be picking them up at the terminal and then taking them to the bus. Then they go on the bus, yada, yada. Yep. All these logistics. Like we said, we're probably going to do a separate video about things we've learned and little quirky things about our first international, okay, not first international, you know what I mean, first European travels, <laughs> right. shall we say. It was amazing. Any other words before we go get some food? Just want to say, um, really love the cruise director. I didn't get to mention that yesterday. Allie, it's her first contract with Princess. She's awesome. She's very natural, mm. funny, go with the flow, and I wish her many more years of success. She's That's really true. good. Yeah. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Barrowmaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time. Right on. Bye. Food time. <laughs> and now it is time for In the Shower with Jay Regal Princess Edition, which looks a lot like a lot of other princess showers. Gosh, I'm glary. Let's look at it anyway. So we have got all the highlights like a beautiful white ecru cream off-white colored shower curtain. Uh, we have got a storage space up here for all your snacky goodness like a lot of pretzel rods and stuff. You know those long pretzel rods? You could just t -t 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 line those up like a bunch of pencils. Um, shower head is adjustable and removable. Um, I think it even has some twisty settings which we didn't use. The on-off is here and the hot-cold is here. 
moderately okay space-wise, I guess. It's gooder this way than it is this way. You've got a little step or a seat. If your booty's this big, you could sit on that. Grab bar. Stuff in the shower for you to wash your washing. Clothesline, of course. Signs warning you to be smart. Um, yeah, so fairly standard. Fairly blurry. Thank you, camera. So once you are in here, now granted I have not pulled the shower curtain. It's a very um, free moving, like you don't even have to pull very hard for the shower curtain. It stays in pretty well so the water doesn't get out as long as you check the bottom. But once you're in here, you've got an okay amount of left right room. You've got some hoo hoo dippy squat room. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty good overall. Serves well. I'm going to have to go in the spreadsheet and figure out exactly how it did. And here's how it did. Huh. Bye, Sensei. It was good seeing you again. You and your trailing wires. International love. They are playing if I could turn back time. And that's sad because we could turn back time and do this whole cruise all over again. All right, a couple of the old Mac muffins. That's not really what they're <laughs> called. For the road. Now they are playing If You Leave Me Now by Chicago. <laughs> this is just rude, y'all. Whoever's in charge of music, sack them, can them, get them out of here. I think I'm funny. <laughs> Yeah, now we've got Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. I'm pretty sure people just made a playlist of songs that say goodbye or talk about leaving. <laughs> well, into the symphony we go. Well, they've just called Pink 1 and Pink 2, so we're on a roll. There's a giant bear over there. Oh my gosh. And we are clear. All right, put up the words on the screen. It's over. That's the end. Young, quit watching now. Turn it off. Uh.